Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakela. I create and share delicious vegan recipes and inspiration. This week's video is a what I eat in a week. Plus we have some major celebrations. Your girl hit 100,000 on Instagram, which I'm so excited about. And so without further ado, let's get into this week's video. So I just got the most beautiful delivery. Look at my flowers. So my best friend, she sent me some flowers from this company, Fresh Send. They are so beautiful and this packaging is everything. My Instagram account hit 100,000 followers uh, maybe a week ago, but this is the card. Can't wait to see what God has in store for you. Love you. But how beautiful are these? Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So really quick, I got some groceries delivered. I got some, let's see, what all did I get? Oh, <laughs> I feel like I've been sharing this soda in every video, but got some of this poppy, what flavor? Raspberry Rose. Got that. I also saw these. I've never had them. They are plant crumbles, all-purpose crumbles. Here are the ingredients. So it's the textured vegetable. Oh, this is textured pea protein, garlic, onion, paprika, salt, chili pepper. I really like the ingredients. I've never tried it before, so I'm really hoping that it's good. Um, oh, I got some bread, some sourdough bread for my sourdough toast. I also got some pineapple because I want to try to make like a pineapple upside down cake, but not a whole one, just like one for us to snack on. Um, I got some red bell peppers, also got some green onions, some strawberries, some sliced shiitake mushrooms. Got some sweet cherries, y'all. These cherries have been off the chain, off the chain, so good. Also got some shishito peppers that I want to throw in the air fryer. Got a banana, some cilantro. Um, I got my Kite Hill Dairy Free Ricotta for my breakfast toast. I also got some hummus just to like snack on. I got this plant-based tzatziki dip. I don't know what I'm gonna use it on just yet. I feel like I might put it in a bowl or something, so that'll be really good. So I got that. So these are really good. I got it because I just really like the flavors. <laughs> also has some basil. Um, I, oh, one other thing. I did get some shallots. Love cooking with shallots. And also, I got some avocado. So yeah, quick little mini grocery haul. And I'm really excited to use all of these items. Y'all look at this. <laughs> Y'all, why did I order these ro rosebuds and petals? Thinking that it was just gonna be like a small bag. This thing is huge. But I really wanna like make some baked goods using it. So I wanna do like rosebud and petal donuts or muffins or even pancakes. Like that would be so good. All right, y'all, so Brandon ordered me something. He's telling me I have to or open it on camera. I don't know what it is, but we're about to be surprised together. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's what I think it is. Is this for pottery? Go back to the energy. Go back to the energy. So Brandon got me this like pottery wheel to like start making everything. This was so, so, so sweet of him. Oh my gosh, that was so thoughtful. Now, do I know how to use this thing yet? No, <laughs> but we are gonna figure it out. Y'all, I am so excited. Every time I like see people posting like new pottery that they get, or see other people creating pottery, I'm like, I could do that. I could definitely do that. I am like, oh my gosh, I'm like a kid at the candy store. Now that I finally have some vegan ricotta, y'all, it's been a minute since I've had some at the house. And now that I have it, I have to make my ricotta toast. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of ricotta toast, especially when you add some fruit and a sweetener on top. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Y'all, 
Y'all, I'm like literally so hyped for this pottery machine. I can't wait to create my first item, which I need to figure out what the easiest thing is because that's gonna be what I have to make. <laughs> As you guys just saw, I'm making toast. That is what I'm gonna have for breakfast. So I really wanted to make my ricotta toast because I don't know if y'all noticed, I haven't made that in a long time. So I love adding fresh basil to my toast. It just adds a different layer of flavor. But I just love for my food to be like super pretty. Like I just feel good when one, the food tastes good, but two, it looks good. So I always try to make sure, sometimes I'm just like, forget it. I don't care if it's cute or not. But other times I'm like trying to make sure that I think my food looks pretty because when the food looks good, you're more excited to eat it, so. This is like really pretty. So good, so good. You have to add a sweetener, so if you do give it a try, make sure you add like, whether it be maple syrup, agave, if you eat honey, honey. So this day I was really feeling like a vegan parmesan pasta with mushroom bacon and oh my gosh, it did not disappoint. This pasta was very easy to make. It does call for several ingredients, but it's not like overly complicated or even ingredients that you may not have at home. So I made like mushroom bacon using some shiitake mushrooms and I guess we could also just call it crispy mushrooms because it's just mushrooms coated in seasoning and flavor and baked until it's crispy. And then for the pasta, very easy. It was shallots, garlic. I used some, what else did I use? Yeah, it was just shallots, garlic. I added some miso paste in there, some pasta water, as well as some vegan Parmesan and lemon juice. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Mushrooms are almost done. They need to get a little bit more crispy. So the pasta's finished, the mushrooms were just the last step. But y'all, this is so good. Oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely delicious. So I just spent some time getting rid of um, things that we had in here that we just did not need anymore and organizing it and it just looks so much better. So that's like all of our fitness stuff and protein. Got some snacks. Those are some brand new snacks. We got our pasta over here. We got some sauces right here. This is These are the rose petals <laughs> that I showed y'all. But yeah, we got our sauces. Y'all, I picked up this Japanese barbecue sauce. I'm so excited to use it. Got some of our, um, what is this, canned goods over here. Y'all, I need to cook those great northern beans. If you see my pre previous video, I thought I was picking up chickpeas and I was not. So, we got all of that. We have our dry goods right here. We have some more snacks right here. And then we have stuff for Sir over here. But I am so happy with how it looks. It's so much, I wish I would have shown y'all how it looked before because it was absolutely crazy. Not too long ago, Brandon and I went to Washington DC just for like a quick trip. And we went to a restaurant named DC Vegan. If you've been to DC Vegan, like, that food is off the chain. And if you haven't, they have these amazing, uh, it's like vegan calamari, calamari. <laughs> but they use king oyster mushrooms. And I was like, I have to try to figure out how to make this at home because it was so good. So that's what I did. And it was amazing. Like I, 
I ate this entire batch because it was so delicious and it was crispy like oh my gosh now I normally would add in seaweed but I didn't have any seaweed but I did have randomly some kelp powder which kind of has like that sea like taste to it so I decided to add some of that to this mixture that I'm whipping up and it got the job done now everything that I put in the description box is going to be a guesstimate not even an estimate a guesstimate just based off of me re-watching the video to know how much that I use but I would definitely recommend giving this a try So remember in the previous video, well, I think it may have been like two videos ago, I made a strawberry milk. Well, I've been seeing people make strawberry milk or use strawberry milk for their matcha. So I was like, okay, let's get into it. Surprisingly, I haven't had or made matcha in a while. So this was just the perfect afternoon pick me up. barbecue sauce that I have what I'm gonna do is just like cut this in half and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil salt pepper maybe put some garlic on there I'm not sure yet but then I'm gonna cut this in that barbecue sauce I'm just gonna have that with some rice and veggies I don't know what kind of veggies I want to do yet though we'll figure it out let's get into it All right, y'all, so this is the last bit of this video. I just wanna thank you so much for watching. Right now, I'm just about to do my nails. So when y'all see new nails in my next video, that is why. Just wanna thank, say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed all the meals that I made this week. Y'all, that eggplant, y'all gotta try it because it was off the chain. Like, it was so good. So good, I ate both pieces, and I wish I would've made another one because I would've ate that too. But yeah, just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not already, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications so that you get an alert every time I post a new video, which should be every Sunday. I'll see you guys next week.